Hello and welcome back. This is Larry Parman with the law firm of Parman and Easter Day. In her book, The Long Goodbye, Patty Davis talked about her father's health care issues he faced during his lifetime, especially the last few years. A very poignant letter, handwritten by a former president, he introduced the American people to a very insidious disease that troubles millions of people today. And it introduced us to the idea that we can lose everything that makes us who we are, who we are, how we're unique as a human being. Namely, our ability to think, our ability to remember who we are and where we came from. Our ability to remember some of the significant accomplishments in our lives. Who we loved and who loved us. And yes, I'm talking about Alzheimer's. And today we're very fortunate to have with us Randall Lee who is the regional director of the Oklahoma and Arkansas chapter of the American Alzheimer's Association. And Randall's going to talk to us a little bit about some of the issues that confront people who have this dreadful disease and tell us about an exciting upcoming conference that the organization is going to have in November. So welcome. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Good to have you. You bet. So share with us just a little bit about your organization's vision and mission what you like to accomplish and what you think people should know about what you do. Well, I think I, I would do it in the, the current and in the future, maybe a little bit in the past. In the past, what uh, the Alzheimer's Association was primarily set up to do was to create awareness about Alzheimer's, try to erase some of the stigma, but quite honestly, we're a very relatively young organization. We're about 30 years old, uh, so we don't have a tremendous amount of history, but there is a tremendous need that people need to focus on the disease and focus on how to help it and some of the ideas on how to address the, the disease. Um, so currently what we really are involved in are working with families, working with caregivers and working with professionals on what's going to happen. I've got the diagnosis now from the doctor. What can I expect? What do I need to take care of? What do I need to have in place? Where do I need to go to have that done? What are some of the things that we can do currently to lessen the blow uh, and the impact of Alzheimer's on the family? Then in the future, our hopes and dreams are to find a cure. We, we're one of the few organizations that I believe that really we're trying to work ourselves out of a job. We'd really like to find a cure uh, for the disease. Right now, we're the only disease in the top 10. We're the sixth leading cause of death. We're the only one in the top 10 where there's no way to cure it no way to slow it down, no way to even stop it uh, or prevent it, if you will. And so we really are focusing a lot of effort and time on research and that's what uh, we want to talk to Congress about, what we're constantly talking to people about in the medical communities that there needs to be a, a greater focus on research because we have the, the knowledge that if there are resources provided to research then there will be massive changes accomplished if we are able to have those resources dedicated to that. And this is a this is a significant, profound issue impacting millions of people. Over five million people today, I understand. Five point four million. Five point four, mm -hmm. maybe fifteen, sixteen million by the year two thousand fifty, at a cost of maybe over a trillion dollars a year. Yes, and which could have a huge budgetary impact on our nation as well. Yes, and just in the next ten years, even in Oklahoma, we're looking at doubling the number of people that could quite possibly uh, be suffering with the disease. So as you talk to families about Alzheimer's, what are some of the major issues you, you coach them on in terms of preparation for guiding a family member or a loved one through this journey? Well, there's a couple of different ways. Number one, there's the emotional side. Um, I just Families are not prepared for, as you're so eloquently stated in your introduction, that the change over a person, uh, the, the changes that they go through after the progression of the disease, they literally lose uh, that human being and it becomes a shell. So there's an emotional toll from the standpoint of the changes of the person and personality of that person. Also there are some emotional demands on how do I deal with a person with a disease that can't function loss loses function loses the opportunity to function in, in a myriad of different ways and then thirdly there's the 
um, if you will, the oh the the structured part legally. What do we need to have done uh, financially? What do we need to have done? Uh, where can we find the right resources for somebody to kind of handle the situation that we're in? Many families aren't ready to do that or haven't done that when they get the diagnosis. So, um, you know, you, you find various and sundry ways. My mom, when my dad was diagnosed, you know, she was going to keep him at home, and she did. But it almost killed her because of the stress. We're finding now about 60% of caregivers are dying before the actual patient does because wow. of the stress, the 24-7, all of the aspects that it takes to uh, care for a patient. Eventually, she did bring somebody in though because she found that while there's that love and that bond and that desire to take care of a loved one, there's just not the technical expertise that we need to do. So there's the emotional side and the uh, the well, you, it, the structured side is what I kind of call it. The things that you need to really have in place to make sure that uh, things are taken care of in the future. And it gets very awkward, doesn't it, in the early parts of that transition, where it, people may have a fair fair certainty of the diagnosis, but are yet resistant, in denial, about the legal steps that need to be taken to transfer that power, if you will, very from themselves so. to somewhere else. Very much so. We find that a very awkward place. Oh, oh very much so, and I'm sure you, you could have an, a, a myriad of stories that you could tell. We, uh, uh, But that that's just one of the aspects. We, that's our organization has tried to teach those families as they come to us that we don't necessarily handle the care planning, we're more of a resource for them. And when my mom found the association, she found a support group that she could go to. And even though my dad's been gone a couple of years now, she still attends that support group to yeah. get that kind of that emotional bonding that she gets. But that's our role as an association to help put people together with that kind of resource. And you guys, your organization, is a big believer in the educational component of this and the preparation side. So tell us about the education conference coming up in November. Well, th thanks for asking. We're very excited this year about our conference, which is November the 13th. It's at the Embassy Suites in Norman. And we're excited because uh, you gentlemen, your firm, is going to help us kind of broaden the audience that we haven't, that we haven't had before. Typically, the uh, conference has been geared toward caregivers and the training of professionals. But as we started thinking about what are the things that we really want to offer families is uh, the fact that sometimes the legal profession and, and uh, the folks involved in that need to have a broadened vision, a broadened education about what Alzheimer's and the components that they need to take. So there are some, some intricacies. Um, and we came to you guys because we know that you have a tremendous expertise in dealing with, with these kinds of issues. So we approached you and said, could we maybe do a conference to where we not only teach caregivers and professionals that deal with caregivers, but can we also approach those professionals in the legal field to say, here's some of the things that you might want to look for and address as you're working with some of those families. So we're really excited uh, in that we believe it's going to increase the attendance which is always very important to us, but also expose a lot more people and uh, a lot broader audience to the message of Alzheimer's. Because one of the goals that we do have is the elimination of the stigma of Alzheimer's. It, it, it has a still to this day very much a negative stigma and people are very fearful to talk about it right. and awkward as you mentioned before. Right. So we want to just try to continue to broaden those educational opportunities that uh, um, that are offered and not just try to keep it within our within our realm of sphere of influence. So I know that, for example, on the uh, uh, the, the lawyer side, the attorney mm -hmm. side, I believe our firm has uh, secured COE credit for those of you in the audience who may be watching this who are attorneys. And I believe there's three and a half or four hours of COE credit. And the other professional advisors, financial advisors, CPAs, those of you who may be watching, you too will receive CE credit. So we really encourage you to come participate in this event and find out more about this disease and what you can do to help spread it, spread the message. So in addition to the professional advisors, Randall, and the caregivers, what about the public at large? Anyone else specifically that should think about coming? We have a number of tracks that are available from not only the, the legal perspective and financial, which we're so glad that you guys are, are helping us with, but uh, people that deal with assisted living centers, um, the administrators and those that work within those, home care agencies, uh, hospice agencies from that standpoint, 
and the general public. Actually, we have a very strong track for caregivers, which not only implies a professional, but also those individuals that just simply want to know more about how to care uh, for a loved one with Alzheimer's. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a professional in that standpoint, right. but just a family member that might want to come and learn more about what they need to be doing. I know last year I sat next to a, to a couple of ladies who were from the public, but they were children of people afflicted with this disease. And they found it very helpful. Found a number of support group participants and different ways to get help. And so we really encourage the public to come as well. Well, we, we, we like to think of it as, as both a very somewhat technical in the sense that in your, in your sessions you'll probably be a tad bit more technical uh, than we would on one of the caregiving side, but we, we don't want to get into the, we never really talk about the science of Alzheimer's. We really just want to talk about dealing with it as a family member. And to that end, we're very excited that we have a, a number of vendors that will be in place, both those agencies, assisted living centers, but uh, uh, providers and service providers for the organization, uh, for families. Last year we had two rooms that really had uh, people in it and out in the hallway. So we're very excited about the number of people that if, if you come only for that, you're going to learn an awful lot just mm -hmm. by meeting with those vendors and the experts that will be here to, to direct you in certain ways. Share with those listening specifically how they can register for the event. Well, there's two ways that I would suggest. Number one, you're welcome to call our office number at 405 319 0780 or simply go to alz.org backslash AROK uh, which will get us to the Oklahoma Arkansas website or you can go to just alz.org and click on the map the Oklahoma area and that will take you to our particular site. Good. Well Randall Lee we appreciate you dropping by. Thank today. you for your time and you thank you have. very much for helping us with well, this. It, thank you. We're really We're looking forward to the strength that your firm will bring to our conference. Thank you very much. And for those of you watching, this is Larry Parman with the firm of Parman and Easter Day. And again, we encourage you to call those numbers or contact that website and make your reservation today for the upcoming education conference for the Oklahoma-Arkansas chapter of the American Alzheimer's Association.